Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you Monk Monday number 137. Thank you for anybody who has submitted their gameplay for this. For those of you who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go over it. Send me anything you got. Twos, threes, RBGs, BG Blitz, Solo Shuffle. I've done PvP and PvE as well, so... Mythic Plus rating, I have done it all. I also do Windwalker, so please send it any gameplay you have. Any MMR, truly, the best way to get better at, at WoW or pretty much anything is to just record a gameplay, watch it back, see if you're making any mistakes. And with that said, today we have Rest in Peep, who has said in some gameplay uh, in the email that said they had the privilege to get a mirror matchup on the Mystery Monk against Sidhu. I do see Seabor X in the details there. I went two and four and would love to have give uh, to have some critiques. Of course, the editing is a little scuffed. Don't worry about editing. I, I You never have to worry about editing ever. I Let me worry about that. I, I, I promise. Um, just record your gameplay and I'll, I'll do the rest of it. Thanks and be mean. I don't care. I trolled it for rounds, but I thought it would be okay overall. Thanks for everything you do and you helped me a lot in the last few years. I appreciate that. I will not be mean. But I'll tell you if I see anything you did wrong. I'm, these are not meant to be mean to shame anybody. I, if there's anyone that shames anyone in the comments, I do immediately block them because that's not what this is about. All right, let me start it from the beginning. Let's see. So right now we're in the middle of the round. Monk at half half HP. Fury Warrior at half HP. I would say the kill target would probably be the Debbie Voker. The Fury Warrior could be a good kill target if you're both your hunters are good at kiting. If not, I mean, I see one of them survive, one of them VM, so the Fury might be hitting the survival more than anything else, but I feel like the Dev is a pretty good target too. But uh, let's see how we do it. So we're playing Zen Focus T with the Crackle build, it seems like, which is a pretty good option. Um, I, pr I definitely prefer that over the Rushing Wind Kick. And we're just going to play far away. Um, hopefully, the big issue when you're playing with... Um, a melee and a and a like two hunters is most of the time the hunters just like stack up with well, this other the bm hunter could just like play from range with you but it kind of makes your life a little bit difficult when they're stacked monk pushed in for an in cap probably a clash into a sweep it's a double sweep on you and the other hunter which is okay cocoon is fine here good cocoon save the hunter's turtle still have feign death one thing about hunters also you want to note is that if they feign death it's going to cancel your soothing mist just just keep that in mind it's it's super annoying um but yeah, we're not going to look for paralysis. This is a good full trap here on, on the Mistweaver. Definitely looking for a... No stuns are available. I mean, you could. It's going to be DR. So we're just going to hopefully do straight damage to the dev and we'll see. You could potentially right here. Let me see. So dev does have a kick available. But if you but your team's at 100% health. I would have rolled in on the other side of this pillar to try to get a Song of Chi-Gi on the Monk. I think the dev goes like slightly LOS here um, from the ramp. So since you're playing Song of Chi-Gi, why not try it? Your team's at health is healthy, right? If you get kicked and both your teammates are at like 90% or 100% health, you actually still have Life Cocoon on, on this Hunter. It, it doesn't matter. Like you get kicked, it's fine. So I would actually try to go for a Song of Chi-Gi. Oh, wait, where are we going? I would, I would try to go for a Song of Chi-Gi in this situation. Just because your team is fine and the monk has no trinket. This could have been a kill, actually, if you, we get a song off this. But I think that was a revival, it looked like. Um, hopefully we get a kick on that that nullifying shroud. Nullifying shroud is so hard to deal with. Um, good sweep here. Try to get a song off. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Your your team is still healthy, so just keep that in mind. But if you're going to play song, just try to try to press, press it. Um, I don't know where this hunter is. There we go. Yeah, just spam heal. Incap on you. Stormbolt on the hunter. Uh, we kind of fell behind there. Yeah, we fell behind. I'm trying to see why. We, I think we're... Which hunter is this? This hunter is a square. So what happened here? We're at, we're, we're fine here. This is a survival hunter, I'm assuming. Yeah, because this is a coordinated assault. So where where is our survival hunter? He's here. He's here. Yeah, I think we LOS him. Oh, he goes over here. Nope, he LOSs us. Yep, it's just... You know what? Good instant vivify here from Vivicious Vivification. Do we have thunder? We have no thunder. Very unfortunate we don't have any thunder focus to because I think we could have kept him alive. I think this just come down to being lined. I think the hunter lined you. I think you lined him after the sweep, and then he lined you, because I see we get a sweep, and then we try to piece out, which is fine. And then the hunter goes here, which if the hunter came on this side of the pillar to kite, you, your hunter would have been fine. But he decides to go back in and back around. It takes a long route. The scenic route to see you. I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah. Just unfortunate here. Yeah, just unfortunate. Uh, he just lined you like kind of hard there, which is uh, kind of sucks. But this round was going really well for you. The only issue I have with this round, it's not really an issue, but the only th comment I would make about this round is 
play song or if you're gonna play song of chiji try to go for it especially when your team is healthy that's like your big one i think you had a you had a chance to win this round where was it sidu is in a full trap with no trinket it was like maybe right, right here it was like right around yeah this trap right here i mean obviously there's a chance your hunters could have broken the song of chiji but right here the dev is at 56 percent health sidu still has four seconds on trap if you can get a song off this trap i mean the dev probably dies as long as the hunters don't break it so that's the only thing uh, you also don't have to play song chiji rob is also pretty good too for um helping your hunters kite but overall not a bad round all right we got round two here and we are we're about a minute into this round that's all right we'll see what's going on here we got the survival hunter fury warrior mistweaver versus bm hunter deb evoker so this is this, i think this is a pretty favorable matchup for you i would say the reason for that is dev has so much cleave damage and you have an ms from the hunter that you should just be able to just heal right they don't have range kicks the only way that they can cc you is stormbolt trap intimidation stun trap but you could pour if you're playing eminence the mistweaver can incap you but it drs the trap so this is actually a pretty good round for you let's see how this goes life cocoon gets used on the survival hunter we're just chilling in the room again you can just chill in the room that's that's the great part about uh this matchup for you right now is this a really good yulon here maybe taunt trap that's okay usually usually this is if you have a taunt macro i can give you one um i can put it i'll put it in the description below in the in the, in the description or i'll put it as a comment um but the the, the thing that makes survival like super easy to taunt the trap is that they have a tell, which is this harpoon root to you. If they harpoon root to you, they're obviously trying to go for a trap. You don't, also don't have to taunt. You could port as well. So usually when you're off DR, I don't know if you're tracking your own DRs or not, but or if you're tracking trap, maybe are you tracking freezing trap by chance? I don't know if you are. Yeah. OK, so you're tracking freezing trap right here. Four, three, two, one. So usually around like here. I'll use an instant vivify, beautiful instant vivify, and then I'll just wait a global or two, one, two, and then I will port right here. Um, so then you port the trap because this is really the most consistent way survival hunters can trap you. And if you can avoid the the route, then you know they can't really trap you. So that's the only thing I would recommend versus survival hunters. It's just like it's just so obvious. They, I mean, it's not their fault. They have to, <laughs> they have to harpoon you because they can't get it otherwise. But just letting you know, you could taunt. A pet because it's so obvious or you could port it either one is fine if you're even faster you could tiger rush yourself and roll but sometimes the range or like the radius of the freezing trap can still get you even when you roll away um but we're trapped here either way that's fine frenzy gem from the fury warrior precog on the mistweaver life cocoon is going down on the survival hunter and again your team is looking somewhat healthy we have life cocoon in six seconds we don't have revival we don't have trinket for 20 so I take back what I said. We're actually looking in a rough spot. Hopefully the warrior doesn't have fear. If the warrior has fear, we're going to be in, a, in t a tough spot here. But we're looking... What what I'm looking at right now is... I see rescue from the dev. I see feign death. I see exil. And I see Ross and shadow mode. So we have four cooldowns. They're not major cooldowns. But if you get put into a fear soon, or if you get put into a CC chain, it should be enough for where you can use your life cocoon. So let's see how this goes. Friend regen from your Fury Warrior. Um, Master's Call from the Hunter there. We love this crackle. You don't, by the way, I, are you playing? Yeah, you don't need to play Zen Focus T versus, by the way. You could play, um, I, I wish I knew what PvP talents you were playing. You could play, versus this, I would play Eminence. I would play, or you could. You don't have actually have to play Eminence. You could play Disarm. Peace Weaver if you want to for traps, but you could play like Zen Spheres as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, Disarm is pretty important though, especially versus the Fury Warriors. Um, you can see these Slaughterhouse stacks. He's got two stacks up. It helps with just getting rid of Slaughterhouse stacks from the Fury Warrior. But as you see, we're playing Zen Spheres as well. And here's that fear I was talking about. So this is where I see that Ross was used, Feign Death was used, and Exil. So what I'm looking right here is I'm looking for the rescue from the Devastation Evoker to hopefully rescue your Hunter to a safe spot. Um, they're both ranged, so you, it shouldn't cost any damage. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, I guess didn't have to press rescue. We do have Trinket back. Oh, good sweep here life cocoon gets used immediately that's fine good sweep here too um dr for in cap is kind of rough so again you're playing with a hunter it sucks but yeah ross gets used on fury warrior i'd probably swap to the survival hunter that's reflect from the fury warrior kill the hunter kill him oh 
I usually I would play a little more aggressive and like try to kick out the Miss Weaver, but that's fine. You, I think you actually lose if you do that. I think just about you have trinket. Um, you just need to live. Um, he is off in cap jar. Good, beautiful. Well done. Well done. That was a really good round. Again, just keep that in mind versus the trap and a lot of what, a lot of what shuffle comes down to is your DPS. You know, I mean, as long as you can keep your team alive long enough, like two and a half to three minutes then you're doing your job as a healer. So everything else is up to the DPS. So always try to keep in mind like what cooldowns that they have. If I'm in CC, I expect the DPS to use their cooldowns. If I'm out of CC, I'll probably use my cooldowns. Uh, but grats on the round one. This this was a good round. Your healing rotation's looking good. Um, yeah, no, no, everything's looking good from this round. All right, we have round three. We're playing Ring of Peace. I do, I do like Ring of Peace as, as opposed to Song Chi Because again, when you're looking at your comp, you have Sleepwalk from the Devastation Evoker. You have Trap from the Survival Hunter. So they all DR with you. And the less you have to do, like the take away from your healing, the better. It looks like Sidu's playing the Rushing Wind Kick build and you're playing the Crackle build. I could be wrong, but that's just what it looks like. I personally, of course, I prefer the Crackle build. But that Rushing Wind Kick build would be good in this situation versus the BM Hunter. Just keep that in mind. Um, we got our statue down. Good. We got a port down. Beautiful. Uh, we're looking for disarms on the Fury Warrior are at high stacks of Slaughterhouse is what we're looking for. If you could disarm the Fury Warrior um, at a, you know when the Slaughterhouse stacks are about to end, that is amazing. And we're trying to keep our... Ideally, they're probably going to go your Devastation Evoker. I'd be surprised if they go Survival. Um, so just keep your hots up. I already see you have Zen Sphere on the dev, which is great. So let's see how this goes. Pretty much just focus on healing here. I don't think you need to focus on much of anything else besides disarming and healing. Um, we use our rolls. Good, good. They are opening up on your survival. Survivor is going to get silenced. That's kind of odd. I think that was probably a fat finger or something from the BM hunter, but that's okay. Stormboat gets used on your hunter. Looking for this is uh, you're going to get stunned here. Good sweep. I would have tried to. Is this a full sweep or not? I, I couldn't tell if that was a full sweep or not. This is, no, it's half. All right, so what I would have done if this was a full... No, so so this isn't a full sweep, but what I would have done is... See this stun right here? This, um... I, for, I forget what it's called. This this is a stun from the hunter. I would have in-capped the hunter here. And then I would have gotten stunned. Oh, binding shot. I would have gotten stunned from the binding shot, but I would have in-capped the hunter so he couldn't trap off, is what I would have done. Because you're not... The monk is on poly, or in-capped DR, and your hunter is probably ideally the one... CCing the Mistweaver. So you kind of in-cap for the off DPS is what you should be doing. So I would have in cap the Hunter here. Hopefully it didn't break. And then I would have gotten, I would have run out of the binding shot on purpose to get DR stunned. And then you you can't get trapped. That's what I would have done. So we get trapped here, uh, which is okay. Diamond Ice, Sleepwalk on the Mistweaver, which is great. Maybe the Fury Warrior just dies. Reflect from the Fury Warrior. Life Cocoon gets used. Perfect. Kick on you. Again, this is really good. Getting kicked isn't bad, right? Getting kicked, especially in the right situation, is not bad. It, really good job getting kicked here. Really good ink cap here on the Hunter as well. Always when you get kicked, try to ink cap something. This is exactly what I would have done during the binding shot here. It would be to ink cap the Hunter to try to avoid the trap. Uh, put, put you on stun DR, but really good ink cap there while getting kicked, uh, especially during Life Cocoon. They're going your dev now. Oh, no, man. That sucks. The tar trap. Root, kill, oh my god. Yeah, that that is brutal. Oh man, we still had rescue though, and we had Ross. I mean, did we have revival? Oh, he's out of range of revival. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, this is, um, do you have Tiger's Lust? Let me see, we have Tiger's Lust available. It's, Tiger's Lust is definitely an underutilized spell, so I, you know, I don't blame you, but could have Tiger's Lusted here on this route? Um, the hunter outranges your crackle, I'm pretty sure. And then he also outranges your revival. To be fair, Peace Weaver probably wouldn't have done much versus Hunter Warrior, but Oh my god, Thunder Focus T. I don't know if we had enough time to th even Thunder Focus T like Envelop Mist here. Yeah, the dev just goes in. He's just in. Oh my god. This isn't your fault, I don't think. Um, maybe I think you should probably play more on the pillar. If your team's gonna push in like this, but I do see on the on the left hand side here, I see I see rescue and I see Ross. I, and if I see those two spells, I feel like we should be fine. In a perfect world, the devastation invoker would have rescued like the hunter towards you, like maybe LOS towards the pillar, and then you would have been in range to like revival and heal him. But damn, that sucks. This is just a positioning issue similar to round one. 
you just get outranged. I would say though, if listen, you can't control your DPS at all. You you really you really cannot control your DPS. So if your DPS are pushing in, as much as it sucks, and I've I've admitted it, I've finally accepted it myself. You have to push in with them. I don't want to either. I really don't. But if they're gonna push in, so if your team is like pushed in like this, let me see. Where's your team? If your team is pushed up like this, you have to claim the pillar. You know, it it sucks. It makes them makes it easier to CC the monk. But it would have been actually would have been nice if you got an in cap off this sleepwalk. Yeah, this this would have been good. It, you if you got an in cap off the sleepwalk, maybe we get trinket earlier from the monk. But it it just is what it is. So I would say push up on the pillar, stay away from this uh, room because you're you get put in the same situation that you were in before, uh, where your team just outranges you. At least with the pillar, you're pretty much in range all the time. But I just realized that yeah, we had a really good go here. Oh, you never mind, you're trapped. Never mind. <laughs> you but if you were pushed up on the pillar, you could have maybe gotten in cap off that sleepwalk and gotten maybe trinket sooner or trinket from the monk. But either way, this is just a situation where the DPS didn't use all their cooldowns and we're just slightly out of position. You want to play far, but not too far, right? Because evokers do have to like hover and like push in and get CC and all that. So there is some merit to, to have evokers being slightly out of range, but take the pillar is what I, what I mean from this round and always stay in range of your DPS. All right, we have round four. We have Fury Warrior, Devastation Evoker versus Double Hunter. So this... This, we, I feel like this is a winnable round, mostly because all of their CCDRs, all of it. We have an MS, we have different DRs, we have Sleepwalk, we have Stormboat, we have Incap. Like, we have everything that we need to get a win. I would say the kill target could be either Hunter. I prefer always hitting the range and cleaving the DP, the melee, but that's all right. Are we playing Eminence? I feel like we might not be playing Eminence if we're getting trapped, but that's okay. That's all right. They get a trap, which is fine. We start with Yulon, perfect. Thunder Focus T. And we have a lot of healing. We have Zen Focus T up. We should have no Crackle. All right, are we kicking then? I don't see the Crackle buff, so we must be kicking. Um, which is fine. We just want to kick off cooldown, pretty much. Unless we unless we Crackled already. Let me see. Did we Crackle already? Let me see. Yeah, okay, we Crackled already. Never mind. I was going to say, you've been playing Crackle this whole game. It, it actually, the Russian Wind Kick would be good into this because they're stacked and there's multiple pets. So, Crackle here. Oh, we get stunned on the crackle. I see now. I see now. Yep. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it is what it is. It sucks, but that's okay. Zen spheres are up. Beautiful. Great. Great. Good. Get put a renewing mist on the warrior. Good. Good. We get our chi harmony going. Perfect. Perfect. They have one range kick from the BM hunter. We have trinket. No trinket on the mist weaver right now. So I would go for an in cap sweep right now. This this is this is a very very easy in cap sweep on the mist weaver. No trinket for twenty two seconds off of in cap and stun dr. I would go for, and I guess the, I would just go for it. That's Cocoon. All right, now I wouldn't. All right, so it's, it's too late now. So I probably would have went for an in-cap sweep. So my goal, oh, he's playing Undead. Okay, he undeads the um the Sleepwalk there. The, your goal as like the Mistweaver, of course, outside of healing, is to try to extend the CC chains. So whenever I see a Sleepwalk or like a Fear or something on the healer, I always try to get in position to extend it with in-cap or leg sweep so will gets used from the mistweaver i i would already be there for an in-cap on this monk no trinket no nothing master's call on, on the survival hunter yeah i would be there um we, we have fear as well but it's gonna be half it's a, kind of on you right now you're the in-cap and sweep dr or stun dr right now so well not anymore this is live cocoon so now we just chill good crackle here keep your team alive keep your renewing mist up good good this is we're looking great rescue gets used barely Barely, not in time. Good sweep here. This is perfect. Good. Life Cocoon's down. Go for an in-cap off of it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fear off that too. We can get a kill here. We can get a kill. The, what sucks is the... the Damn. the That fear overlapped with the in-cap, I think, just a little bit. Just a hair. Um, a hair too long. Let me see. We got the sweep here. Perfect. We in-cap. Beautiful. Great. No overlap on that in-cap there. And then I think we feared like two or three seconds too early. Uh, that's fair. Keeping our team alive here. Good crackles. What else we could rop to to keep the Mistweaver uh, away from casting? Potentially. Good. Reading my mind here. Beautiful rop there. Try to clash. If we're playing clash, good. That's turtle. All right. That's turtle from the survival hunter. If we get a kick, maybe on the monk? No. That's all right. Good store world here on the BM hunter. And maybe we just kill him. Todd. Todd. Yeah. Beautiful. Well done. This, this was a well played round. The only thing I would have changed slightly ever so slightly is to be a little bit more aggressive 
when you see that your team is doing a go. Like the most important thing Miss Weavers need is is like goes. So when you see your team stun, let me see who let me see. They probably oh they they stun already. All right, never mind. They all right. Whenever the, you you see a CC on the healer, try to be like as long as it doesn't put you out of position or anything. Try to be there for like extending that because you have in cap sweep right. They're, they're fairly easy to get. You know, in cap even if you can just in cap the trinket and like put that healer behind. That's that's even better. And then sweep the DPS. Obviously, you want to sweep the DPS now because they're both on some DR. But really good round. Good healing. I'm not seeing anything wrong with the healing rotation, by the way. I am shocked you've never been glad, if I'm going to be quite honest with you. Because this you're, you're doing great. Like, straight up. You, your healing is doing is fantastic. Positioning is great. You're not pushing in too much. Um, you're actually not pushing in enough, which is a nice problem to have. Uh, on the other hand, I will push in for literally any a chance at getting a kick on someone. So this is really good. Um, no, you're 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 doing fantastic. I think the I think that your two losses so far have just been unfortunate positioning, which happens. You know, you just when that happens in rounds, you just have to accept that. You know, man, that that sucked. But you, it wasn't anything you did wrong. I think so far uh, you're doing a really good job in these shuffles. Sadly, there is no round five. So if you ever get a round five or another full shuffle, please send it my way. But uh, I think there was two round ones that you sent me, which is all good. This is round six. It's what two to three right now. I think that C do yeah, we won two we won round four, C do one round five. All right. So we are in the middle of round six right now. No trinkets on the DPS. What is this? BM Hunter, Devastation Evoker, Miss Weaver versus Fury um Survival Hunter. I think this is a tough round for us, I'm not gonna lie. I think that Dev with hover is really hard to hit for two melee and bm hunter if they're half decent if they're, if they're decent at kiting it also is difficult also Sidu is playing the russian wind kick build so he's doing a lot of damage and both your dps are stacked up so he's gonna be doing a lot of healing so this is gonna be a tough round but we'll see how we do we're halfway through a trap right now we get life cocoon on the fury warrior i probably oof. let me see something right now who Oh, that is very unfortunate overlap right now. Damn. You know what I don't understand about DPS? Why don't they press their defensive when the healer is in CC? You know, because now you're out of CC and now this warrior is going to press Frenzy Regen, which is wild to me. So this is a very unfortunate overlap. One, you know, Frenzy Regen probably would have kept him alive. But two, you don't have Life Cocoon at all now, which just sucks. So that's Turtle, Frenzy Regen, Life Cocoon. That's every button. The hunter just trapped you. He might be looking for maybe a kick on you, but this is Zen Focus T Crackle here, which is beautiful. We're looking for something on the miss. We we want to whenever you're like back into a corner right now, you want to find a way to like turn the momentum on the other team. So we're looking for an in cap probably on the miss weaver here. Zen Sphere gets put out on the hunter. Good. They're trap. Good. Good. This diamond dice is actually not terrible for you. <laughs> it, it's good. The hunter doesn't take kick or it doesn't take any damage. Stun on you. Stun on the hunter. Oh, I think he might just get totted. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, this is just really unfortunate. By the way, you can send the full rounds. I have no problem like doing. I have done hour long monk Mondays. Like you can send hour like hours into me. I will happily review it. Um, I don't know what happened leading up to this. Sadly, um, I don't know why we don't have trinket. You know, maybe there was probably something we could have could have done or avoided. I don't know. Um, it really sucks that we die here though, because the warrior has Stormbolt Fear. So there's a chance stun the hunter, but I guess the no fine shroud kind of, you know, makes it a little bit unfortunate. But but I mean we had Avatar Recklessness coming up too, so it it it, it is kind of unfortunate. And you know what sucks is if we didn't overlap Life Cocoon, you could have used it on the hunter here. So I without any other knowledge of this round, the biggest issue that I saw was that overlap. Nothing it's not your fault. Normally I mean, normally, if I see that a that a DPS has a major cooldown like French Regen, I'll wait for them to press it. Um, I mean, obviously, that's bit me in the butt before, right? You know, sometimes they don't press it and they expect me to press it. I guess you're not in CC. Well, you were in CC for a while, so they should have just pressed it. But yeah, this was just unfortunate overlap here. And if you didn't overlap, you could have had used it for the hunter. Uh, but that's that's the most knowledge I have for this round. But overall, I didn't see many issues with any of these rounds of solo shuffle. Um, mostly comes down to positioning, right? And Miss Weaver and Miss Weaver. That's 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 the learning curve for Miss Weaver is positioning, um, which is what it is. But I don't think most of it was on you. You know, I think the first round, the hunter kind of he took the scenic route around this pillar to come come see you. 
and uh, that sucked. I think being out of range on the third round um, in this room right here, you always, I think on this map, you always want the, to take the pillar. Um, it's really easy to LOS. You can kite TPS. You can use your ring of peace to make, uh, create some distance between you and any TPS trying to CC you. So I think you always want to take the pillar on this map. Um, so try to do that and then try to extend those CC chains with in cap and leg sweep when you see like a sleepwalk or you know a storm bolt or something like that if you see a storm bolt on a healer i'll immediately try to stun the dps in camp off the storm bolt stuff like that but as far as your healing rotation goes i didn't see any issues with your healing rotation your mana is dead even with c2 so really looking good i do like the crackle build he is obviously playing the rushing jade wind rushing wind kick build so two different builds two different situations where you play them i think it's they're both still pretty good but yeah that's what I would recommend. Um, specifically, I'm trying to think of anything other specifically. Like versus the survival hunter, try to taunt the trap and pour it when you see the harpoon. Try to disarm. I didn't see any disarm. I mean, maybe I'm crazy, or maybe you have a hidden. Either you know, it's fine. But on the earlier rounds versus the survival hunter or versus the um, fury warrior, I would disarm. I would play disarm because if you get kicked, you can disarm the fury warrior just like you incap that hunter. You could also disarm the warrior if you're trying to get rid of slaughterhouse stacks so we can't refresh them or make them any higher. So disarm's really good into Fury Warriors, but oh, and then also you didn't need to play Zen Focus T into Fury Warrior Survival Hunter because you don't they don't have any range kicks. So you don't need to worry about getting kicked as long as you're not pushing in like crazy. But yeah, though that's all I have to say. Um and then Ring of Peace, I think, is also sadly probably superior to song of chiji in most situations i can't think of many situations where song of chiji would be better if like you know you play if, if you're playing for if you're a play style which it seems like you're playing far away don't play song of chiji but if you find yourself more getting more and more comfortable with miss weaver and you're pushing into like kick and all that stuff then i'll play song of chiji but uh, until then just play ring of peace ring of peace is still like 99 percent of the time just better but great use of zen sphere as well Cooldown rotation was fine, just positioning and those little little details. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone who might have any issues. But if you have any more gameplay, feel free to send me the full rounds too. I have no, you don't need to edit anything. I promise. Don't edit a single thing. Let me worry about that. Just send me the gameplay and uh, I'll be more than happy to review it. But that's it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.